Oh, we've got a jovial Dan Gat, and I'll tell you why. Two winners it makes the trip really worth it, mate. Let's start with Richard Deborah, box one, speared out. Uh, pretty good run, wasn't it? Oh, excellent run. I, I, I know the other dog broke the track record, but I actually think she was the better run than him. Just adding up what she'd done. As long as she improves on the track next week, I, I think she's faster than him. Yeah. Still so young as well, Dan. How, how's she come out of that incident with the lure a couple of weeks ago? Mark was saying, I reckon, a few weeks ago that confidence is the issue. Do you reckon she's okay now? Yeah. When we go back to Wenny, it may be a different story, but mm. since we've had her at Dapto, it, even when we got her home after that 600, even Mark said she's just thriving, jumping out of her skin, like physically. Um, yeah, after their first 600, a lot of the time they're a bit flat and that, and the next day she was yeah, jumping out of her skin. Awesome, mate. Uh, how does she compare to a half sister, Richard Deborah? Uh, Richard Donna. Uh, yeah, Richard yep, Donna, sorry, Donna, at, this, right. at this stage. Yeah, at this stage, two different bitches. Um, Donna was just a mad chaser. She's a good chaser too, but yeah, a bit different. I um, think Donna might have had a bit more early speed too. Um, yeah, di different bitches, but yeah. If she can do anything like Donna, gee, she'd be a, a handful for uh, opposition. Let's talk about leg speed because he was the star of the show, breaking the track record made by uh, about a length and a half. What do you think of his run? Oh, super. Excellent performance. It looked like it was going good. I thought I had him off a bit there at one stage, but he knuckled down. He's a real strong dog. To the eye, I just thought he handled a lot better than Deborah, and there was only you know, half a length between them. What about the trip, mate? 570. Is he a 600 metre dog? Is he a 520 dog? Or is he a 571 dog here at Musselbrook? I reckon he's a 570 champion. Honestly, I think the 600 might be a touch long. The 622 at Richmond was once upon a time. Um, this 570 is just perfect for him. Both my, both our dogs, I think, 570 is a good distance. And the draw, mate, 6 and 7 in the final. Uh, Deborah in the 6, legs being the 7. If the punters want to have a go, early tip, maybe? Yeah, not good, the draw, but you get what you're given and, you, you know, you carry on. But... Um, yeah, not good, so yeah, I wouldn't be tipping either one. <laughs> Deborah's probably, Deborah's got a bit more speed than him, so I think she'll push under him and, and be in front of him going in that first turn. And Brace is under him, so we've got to beat, she's the one to beat, in my opinion, so yeah. Mate, last one for me. I'm interested, when the team sits down to plan out some races for these dogs, how do you come up with the Musclebrook Cup? Obviously the prize money's great, but you've never raced here before, so talk us through it. The prize money's number one. Um, that was the enticing factor, but um, the distance was ideal. And just, it just felt like doing something different coming out for this race. We were looking at the Gosford, the, the 600 metre race that's on there. And by looking at that, we noticed this race. We didn't even know about it, really. Well, I didn't. Someone might have told Mark. Mark might have known, I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, just a nice race. And mate, two winners. The sun's shining away on your face there. It's a beautiful place to be. Well done. The drive home's going to be pretty special, I reckon. Yeah, I've got the old man, so he'll keep me awake with uh, some of the shitty that goes on in there. <laughs> Good idea, mate. Thanks, mate.